Hey guys, so what would you do if a customer asked you to bring their order inside, whether it was food delivery or groceries? Are we required to bring the customer's order in if they ask us to? Let me know if you've ever been asked by a customer to bring their order in. So first of all, we are absolutely not required to bring the customer's order inside their home if they ask us to. If you look at the offers that you get, it's either leave at door, hand it to the customer, Customer or hand it to the customer and get a signature. It does not say anywhere to bring the order into the customer's home. First of all, we always have to put our safety first. If you were to go into a customer's home, you don't know if somebody has a gun in there, a knife, you could trip and fall. You could accidentally bump into their table and break their antique piece that they say is worth $500. You just don't want to put yourself into that situation you just never know it's always better safe than sorry now on two occasions I did have something like this happen on the first occasion it was a food delivery I went to the customer's home and I knocked on the door and I could hear somebody in the distance yelling at me about something waited a moment knocked again and they got louder telling me I needed to come in I am not gonna go into the customer's home at all they need to come to the door it's a meet at door anyways I ended up leaving the order there by their front door and taking a photo for my record now on another occasion I had a spark order and the lady answered the door I did need her signature she was disabled and had asked me to place her bags of groceries there's only a few bags of groceries on her counter now I don't typically enter a customer's home I just don't feel comfortable doing that in that particular situation I did place the customer's order on the counter for her, but you got to always trust your instincts. So those are my two instances where I have been asked to come in. One instance, I had somebody yelling at me to come in. I'm not going to go into that place. And then the other instance was a disabled lady where I did at that point set the groceries on the counter. She was a super nice lady, but again, you always have to trust your instincts and always be aware of your surroundings now another thing is when we come out here you might end up finding yourself in an unsafe situation of course it doesn't matter if you have the customer's order you always need to play it safe if you feel unsafe at any point at any part of the delivery whether it's at the restaurant driving to the customer or the customer you need to pull off and one if it's an emergency obviously call 911 or call support and let them know hey I feel Feel unsafe something isn't right I'm not gonna deliver this order let them know what's going on so that they can assist you there is no amount of money that is worth our safety and as many of you guys know I do carry pepper spray on me it's always good to have some sort of protection on you also always be aware of your surroundings if you are looking for pepper spray or my flashlight which also comes in handy in these dark times I do have the link down below I hope that answered some of your questions because I've had comments of people mentioning it, taking orders into customers homes not feeling comfortable about it so I just want to make sure that everybody is aware that you do not have to enter a customer's home always always put your safety first so I'm gonna go ahead and get these apps turned on see what the first offer of the night brings and get these wheels to moving all right guys got a good offer right away of course I did have to decline something uber eats sent me an offer eleven dollars eight cents now it is for two pickups sounds good but not for 8.8 miles that was a decline and you won't believe who brought me a reasonable offer Grubhub came through now it is two pickups uh $17.19 for 7.8 miles I am here right now at the first rest I'm gonna go in there check on the order and hopefully it's ready and then we'll go pick up the second order Grubhub pickup for Alex L. Yeah. Thank you. It's very able to have the oh, ticket yeah, with yeah. his name. 
Just because I have another order to... Oh, you yeah. have two orders of this? Well, not here, another one, but it helps me tell which customer's orders which. I don't think we can do that, unless we have... You guys them. don't keep the names on the bags anymore? Yeah, you have to tell me. Yes, okay, because I got two orders, Maybe but I have them in the bag. Like, no, a sharpie, like a sharpie? Yeah. Yes. I mean, more than two orders? Well, yeah, we not can, here, yeah. at another oh, restaurant, okay. so when I'm dropping off, I don't want to give, you know what I'm saying. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Usually I keep one in my car, but I don't have it in there. <laughs> yeah. That, that works. Okay. okay. Sorry, do you want more? Maybe. That works. Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> have a good day. All right, guys, order was ready. The only thing is, I've noticed this happening at some restaurants. I guess I'm gonna have to pay better attention, especially when you have two orders, whether it's the same restaurant or you gotta pick up from one restaurant, another restaurant the restaurants are taking the tags off with the customer's name so you know if you have a little bit of a drive you're enjoying your music and you're like which one's a which because you know sometimes they look the same um yeah they told me they're taking the tags off which is interesting she kind of marked it with the pen um but i'm gonna separate them out i'm gonna have to pay attention hopefully the other restaurant will leave the tag on but have you guys had that happen usually i keep like a sharpie in my car but i know it's not in here because i needed a pen the other day and i had nothing in here so i'm gonna have to put a sharpie back in here in case i run into these situations we have to know which order goes where and you know after you have a drive you want to make sure that you're delivering the right order and, and having that confirmation is super helpful not sure why they're taking the names off anyways the second restaurant it says ninja bull teriyaki and it says it's in the same lot i pick up over here a lot and i'm like this does not sound familiar looking around there's no like virtual name in here for the restaurant either i have to call and find out if where it's at very bizarre it says it's in the same parking lot anyways i'm gonna give a quick call and then we'll head over to the second restaurant and go pick up the second order <laughs> Hi, pick up for Hannah K. Okay, is there a drink? Is it in the bag? Drink? Oh, me. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. All right, guys, got to the order. So the Ninja Bowl was not in the same parking lot. I thought I'd hit navigate. <laughs> um, I don't know. I tried it again and then it finally like locked into where I needed to go four minutes away because I was like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't remember this particular restaurant over in this parking lot unless it's like a virtual restaurant. You know, things are always changing. Anyways, got here, got the order. I don't know what happened. It happens sometimes. That's why sometimes you just got to double check and do it again. Um, it happens from time to time. It was my fault. Um, um, but got the order so i go in there she tells me to grab the order off the shelf and i'm like wait a minute there's supposed to be a drink like you know sometimes i'll put it in the bag anyways if i wouldn't have checked the customer's order to look for a drink the drink would have gotten forgotten um and then she remembered she had it in the fridge handed me it so i got the whole entire customer's order that's why i always say double check the customer's order scan for drinks because they get forgotten most of the time the restaurants will remember but occasionally they will forget and i'm sure the customer would not be happy um <laughs> their drink being forgotten they'd probably be calling me down the road asking me if i have it in my car and, and it would have been the restaurant that forgot but i'm glad i caught it um all is well so let's go ahead and get these orders dropped off and the first customer five minutes 1.8 miles we are on our way and let me see if it's a house let's see more details all right it looks to be a house they did leave me some instructions of course reading it doesn't make any sense but if things get complicated i will refer back to this they're telling me to look something up that'll take me right to their place but I'm going to follow the GPS and then go from there. Sometimes trying to figure out the puzzle right where I stand. I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. So we're going to head over there now and uh, go get their order dropped off. All right. 
right, guys, I didn't end up needing the customer's notes. GPS took me right to their place. Um, they did leave details of like color of the door, that type of stuff. Um, so as soon as I seen that, I knew that's where it was. Confirmed the address with my eyes. Went smooth. Next customer, nine minutes, 3.8 miles. We're on our way. All right, guys, I have not had one of these drop-offs in a while where you go to, you follow the GPS, you go to where the pinpoint is, and none of the addresses are matching what's in your phone. So you got po two possibilities. One, the customer gave you the wrong address, or two, the pinpoint is off. And in this case, the pinpoint was off. Haven't had this happen in a while. They were actually on another street. The pinpoint was off. <laughs> customer was messaging me, but I'm in the middle of like putting the pieces together. Um, I'll usually like zoom out of the map kind of see where I am and then look for their street and then drive towards their street they they must have this issue a lot because I didn't notice that they had left quite a bit of notes um, of what their place looks like what kind of cars they have um, street instructions but that doesn't really help because it depends on what street you come in there's a, a few different ways to get into where they're at so that didn't make any sense so I just kind of like I said zoomed out zoomed in found their street and then was looking for their cars, um, found one of the cars, drove towards that car and then seen the other car that they had mentioned, had to put it together. And then I seen that their front door also matched. Then I confirmed the address completely off. They obviously have um, their drivers having trouble finding their place. The next step was to put their address in, is it Waze or Wazi? <laughs> that one usually can come in handy if um, Apple Maps is what I use if that doesn't work, um, Waze or Wazi or whatever it's called, <laughs> usually we'll find it. So anyways, luckily I found it. I've, I've been through this quite a few times, so I know the routine of what to do to try to get the customer. And if all else fails, I got to give them a call and hopefully they can uh, navigate me based on, you know, hopefully there's like a landmark or something, but got dropped off finally. But these type of drop-offs can be frustrating, especially, you know, when it's dark and rainy and it just, you're not even near the street. You're like, what the heck? <laughs> but I found my way. Like I said, I've been in these situations so many times. You just got to take it one step at a time and work your way through it. Anyways, I'm going to get out of this neighborhood and see what else we can line up. All right, guys, I thought I was going to have to break the news to you guys, tell you that I'm heading home. The offers have been no good ever since I left that neighborhood. I have been declining, 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 and declining. I will see you on some of the declines that I had to do. You know, after a bit of declining, I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop by my favorite burrito shop, treat myself, get me a burrito, pause all of the apps, turn them back on after I get my food and then see, you know, if anything comes in, if nothing comes in, then I'm just going to head home. I mean, the offers are coming in, but they have been no good. And it's Saturday night. I'm started thinking, is it really Saturday night? It is really bad, super bad. I'm like, what the heck? Here is just some of the offers I've had to decline. DoorDash sent me an offer five dollars but the mileage 11.8 miles that is just an absolute no uh uber eats came through eight dollars three cents for two pickups but the miles were 7.7 miles these are the type of offers that i have been seeing uh, here's another one uber eats three dollars seventy cents 1.3 miles the miles is nice but not for three dollars and seventy cents spark came through but all the offers were in another city and this city is like 30, 35 minutes from me. Not even worth driving all the way over there. So I couldn't take any of those. And then Uber Eats came in with an offer, $2, uh, 2.4 miles. Just really ridiculous offers. Here's another one for an example. DoorDash, $4.50 for 7.2 miles. That is a backwards offer. Not even worth thinking about. Like I said, that's just a few of them. There was a ton of them, guys. A ton of them. Like, I was going to head home. I was going to have to break the news to you guys and say, I'm just going to have to head home on a Saturday night, which is shocking. 
So finally, you know, I'm getting to that point where I'm gonna have to make my decision. Finally, you're not even gonna believe it. Grubhub came through again. This is like shocking. Um, they've been bringing in offers to me lately, saving the night <laughs> um, for Popeyes. So I am here. This is my Popeyes that's always on point um, for the most part. Orders ready or close to being ready. Offer is for 4.4 miles for $9.84. This is the best offer I have seen in a bit tonight. Um, so absolutely accepting it. We're going to go in there, check on the order, and get these wheels back to moving. Probably. Uh -huh. oh, okay, no. Hi, uh, picking up for Jason D with uh, Grubhub. Awesome. You guys got rid of your little shelf. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, order was ready. The wheels are back to moving. I just hate it when you get stagnant. Sometimes you just got to call it and go home. I mean, I was this close from calling it. I'm like, what is going on tonight? Is there like an event? Is there something going on? I mean, earlier I drove past a house party. Um, There's a lot of cars there and people pulling in, but that's not where everybody's at. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but um, I'm glad that I got this Popeye's order. Let's go get it dropped off. 10 minutes at 4.3 miles and it's a leave at door and they also left a note and not to knock which we won't unless they want me to so we're on our way All right, guys, super easy drop off. They had a cute little t round table sitting there, so I just sat the food on top. Um, I'm gonna get out of this neighborhood. I am crossing my fingers. I can line something up. Something good will come through. Um, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna get out of this neighborhood and uh, hopefully we'll get something real good. All right, guys, had a few more declines before I finally got something reasonable. Both of these declines were both for $6.06. One was $6.06 for eight miles for Dairy Queen. And then the other one was $6.06 .06 for 6.1 miles for Jack in the Box. Those were obviously both declines for me. Um, DoorDash came through and I'm like, yes, finally something reasonable. $8 for 4.2 miles for Papa John's Pizza. I am here right now. We're gonna go in there and check on the pizza, get these wheels back to moving. <laughs> guys order was ready which is awesome now they did ask to double check the order on my phone never had them ask me that at this location um, but no problem at all my phone's right there just showed it to him so all is good customer is in an apartment six minutes three miles we are on our way guys pizza orders dropped off like I said it was a drop off at an apartment complex I like this apartment complex I've delivered here many times buildings are well marked the staircases for the apartments are well marked just an easy apartment complex <laughs> I'm sure you guys can agree we like the easy ones some of them you can't even see like the building or the unit numbers from your car you have to get out and like go to like each staircase that can be a pain in the night or when it's raining out um, tonight has been an interesting night. Usually, you know, the weekends in the evening are, you know, my favorite time to come out. It is Saturday night. The offers were coming in, but there was so many bad offers, just a ton of declining. Like I said, I almost called it and, and went home. Sometimes you just have to, but very interesting. Let me know how your weekends have been. Have you noticed they're busier for you? Have you noticed that you're getting a lot of offers, but they're not good offers? Um, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. Is there something going on this weekend? Um, or is it just one of those weekends? You just never know. 
know and then you know next weekend I can come back out and it'll be good as if I didn't have a bad night on Saturday night but um hasn't been horrible I'm glad I got some offers in um it is what it is it is what it is but let me know how things have been for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go so appreciate you guys always riding along with me and I will be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys